Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this waffle stitch scarf. This scarf is very textured and it's very warm for the upcoming fall and winter seasons and it is just perfect. So as you can see the design here is a waffle stitch look to it and this is made just using front post double crochet so this is what the front looks like and then the back if you flip it over it looks a little bit different it's a very easy and beginner friendly tutorial to make and all you need is some worsted weight yarn the finished scarf measures six inches wide by 66 inches long however you can make it as wide as you like or as long as you like this is the perfect way to make a scarf in my opinion is just to make it completely customizable to however you like. I also used some self striping yarn as you can see right here and I really liked it because I really wanted to see what the different colors looked like and I thought the different blues and the grays were perfect for the winter season. Now of course you can use any yarn that you like, you just might have to change up your chain length which I will get to in a minute. So let's begin with this tutorial. So for today's tutorial you're going to need one cake of the Cairn Big Cakes and I use the color blue macaroon and then here's what it would look like if you use this in a blanket. And I also used a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for this scarf. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. Now if you want to use a different worsted weight yarn like I mentioned you can. If you want to use a lighter weight yarn you can certainly do that. Or if you want to use a bulky weight yarn you could do either or. You just will have to change up the number of chains if you want it to be the exact same size as mine. So to make this waffle stitch scarf you're going to chain 26 and if you want to make it bigger or smaller you will do a multiple of 3 plus 2. So that means for your waffle scarf you will do a chain of 3 plus 3 plus 3 until your desired width and then once you're satisfied you will go ahead and add two more chains onto the very end. So for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to be doing chain 26. So to make a chain you're going to do yarn over your hook, insert through that loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. So now that you have your 26 chains, you are going to make a double crochet into the third chain from your hook. So to make a double crochet, the loop on your hook does not count. You're going to yarn over your hook and you're going to count three chains from your hook. So remember this does not count. So one, two, and three. So in this chain right here you're going to make a double crochet. So yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is how you would make your double crochet. Okay, again, so the rest of this row you're just going to make one double crochet in each chain across. So again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you're just going to make one double crochet in each of the chains across. 
And like I said, if you wanted to make this scarf bigger or smaller, you would just change up the multiple for that chain. I've also made a waffle stitch blanket and I've made a few other things with the waffle stitch. I think I made a uh, I, I made a dishcloth with it as well. It's a very versatile stitch that you can make a variety of projects with. So I really enjoy making the waffle stitch a lot. Okay, now that you have your first row complete with one double crochet in each of the chains, you're going to do a chain one and turn your work. And then for row two, you're going to work a double crochet into that very first stitch. So the very first stitch is going to be right here, and you're going to work a double crochet. Next, you're going to do you're going to work one front post double crochet into the next stitch. So this right here. So instead of going in the top of your stitch, you're going to do yarn over and you're going to insert your hook from the right to the left and you're going to go right underneath the post of that double crochet. Yarn over, pull through, and then complete your double crochet as normal. So pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And what this does is that the front post double crochet pushes your stitch out a little bit and that will help get your waffle look. In the next two stitches you're going to make one double crochet. So you're going to work a regular double crochet in the next two stitches. Just like that. Okay, and then you're going to repeat this all the way across. So you're going to repeat one front post double crochet in the next stitch and one double crochet in the next two stitches. And you're going to do this all the way across. So in the next stitch, you're going to do a front post double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook from right to left behind the post of that stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next, you're going to do one double crochet in the top of the next two stitches. So one and two. In your next stitch, you're going to do that front post double crochet, just like that. In the next two stitches, you're going to do one double crochet in the top of those stitches. The next stitch is going to be a front post double crochet. In the next two stitches you're going to do one double crochet in the top of those stitches. Next stitch right here you're going to do that front post double crochet next two, one double crochet in the top of those stitches. Next stitch is that front post double crochet. Next two are the double crochets in the top of the stitch. Next stitch is going to be your front post double crochet. Next two are the double crochets. And now when you get to the end of your row, you're going to have two stitches left. This chain two does not count as anything. It's just your beginner chain that you skip, but you're not you're just gonna skip over that. And in this stitch right here, you're going to make your front post double crochet. and you're going to make a double crochet in that last stitch. So this is what your first, your second row is going to look like. You'll see more of that waffle effect as you do more rows. So you're going to chain one 
and turn. Okay, so for row three, you're going to work a double crochet to that very first stitch. So that means this stitch right here, you're going to work a double crochet. And in the next stitch, you're also going to work one double crochet. Now the next two stitches right here, you're going to work a front post double crochet. So again, insert your hook underneath that post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then you're going to do this again. So insert your hook around that post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this is going to be the start of your repeat. So you're going to make one double crochet in the next stitch, just like that. And then in the next stitch, the next two stitches, you're going to make a front post double crochet. So the front of your crochet waffle scarf is going to look different than the back of it. So you're going to have two different looks on the front and back. So just repeat this all the way down, making your two front post double crochets, and then in the next stitch, one regular double crochet. And this will look, this waffle scarf will look beautiful in a variety of different colors. I've had people show me that they've made this scarf or they've made even a waffle blanket in, a, in an all black color. They've done rainbow colors. They've done so many different designs. So that's what is the great thing about this waffle stitch is that you can use so many different colors and it would turn out just absolutely gorgeous. Even if you just go on Pinterest and you just type in waffle stitch crochet, you'll just see so many different varieties and colors out there. So the possibilities are really endless when it comes to designing your own waffle scarf or your own waffle blanket. Okay, so I'm coming up on the end and I have two stitches left. So you're going to make one double crochet in this stitch right here. And in the top of that chain one, you're going to make your final double crochet. So when you're working the back row just like this, which is going to be an odd number row, you're going to have two regular double crochets at the beginning and two regular double crochets at the end. And then you're going to chain one and turn. So this is going to be your repeat. You're just going to repeat rows two and three over and over again until you reach 66 inches long or your desired length, whatever you choose. The only difference is you want to end on a row two row because as you can see here, if you end on a row three row or an odd number row, you're not going to have that waffle effect. However, say you ended on an even row, this is what your row would look like at the very end. So you could see that waffle much better. So for row two, or for row four, you're going to repeat row two. So you're going to do one double crochet in the very first stitch. The next stitch you're going to make a front post double crochet and two one double crochet in the next two stitches front post in the next stitch one double crochet in the next two stitches one front post double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next two stitches, front post in around the next stitch, 
one double crochet in the top of the next two stitches. One front post. One double crochet in the next two. One front post, double crochet. In the next two, you're going to make one double crochet. In the next stitch, front post, double crochet. In the next two stitches, one double crochet. And then when you get to the end, you're going to do a front post, double crochet, and in the very last stitch you're going to make one regular double crochet. So that's row two and again a row four it's just going to be a repeat of row two and three over and over again like I said. So once you have a few rows this is what it's going to look like and that's how you get your waffle look. So each of the front post double crochets are going to be right on top of each other and that's what it makes that's what makes the waffle look to it. And again, if you flip it over to the opposite side, it's going to have a little bit of a different look to it. So you will just repeat rows two and three over and over again, and you wanna make sure you end on an even number row so your scarf will look like this. So this is how to make the waffle stitch scarf. So I will show you again the finished scarf that I have. And again, this is made using Karen Big Cakes. However, you can use any worsted weight yarn that you'd like. And I really like the look of it a lot. I really like the waffle texture to it. It's very warm and cozy, and it will be perfect for the upcoming winter season. However, it still is quite stretchy, so I really like that texture a lot. So, thank you so much for joining me on today's video on how to make the waffle stitch scarf. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, if there's a video that you would like to see me make, please leave me a comment and I will try my best to get to that video for you. Alright everybody, have a great day and happy crocheting. Bye!